To begin, you will first need to remove the air box, red arrow, the throttle body, blue arrow, and the resonance valve. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With those removed, you can see the top of the oil filler neck, the filler tube, red arrow, and where it connects to the crankcase, blue arrow. The filler neck expands outward. There is a clip on the end that you can hang the cap on. This was broken on our neck. The slight browning you see on the neck is a sign of condensation and not getting the oil hot enough. This small amount usually means you are not warming up the engine enough and driving it long enough to burn this off. If you are worried about oil coolant mix, then check your coolant reservoir and perform an oil change to eliminate any doubt. Use an E10 torque and remove the two screws holding the neck to the bracket on the number 1 and 3 intake manifold indicated by the red arrows. Squeeze in the locking tabs on the breather hose and remove the hose from the neck. Use an E10 torque and remove the two bolts holding it to the crankcase, blue arrows. The power steering pump has been removed for photographic purposes only. You can work around the return line, red arrow, but you do not need to remove the pump. Lift the neck up and feed it out from the engine. Installation is the reverse of removal. Always replace the gasket if reinstalling the old neck and coat the gasket with Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Torque all the fasteners to 13 newton meters or 9.6 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.